Hey guys, what's up? As you may have guessed from the title of this video, I am showing you a brand new tutorial today of a new mod pack on the both the Technic pack and the Feed the Beast mod pack. On the Technic pack, it's called the Volts mod pack, V-O-L-T-Z. On the Feed the Beast pack, it's called Universal Electricity. Some people say that there's some slight differences, but I don't know about any, so I'm just going to teach this as if it were exactly the same. Now, there's a big glitch with one of the main mods right now called Mechanism, where you can create a bunch of machines and stuff. It's basically this mod pack's equivalent of Industrial Craft in TechIt, which means you can't make any macerator-like devices, you can't make anything like that at all, you can't make any machines. But, you know, never fear, because there's other mods to explore, and that mod has already been confirmed by the developer to have been patched, or to be patched in the next update. No idea when that's coming, so for today, I'm going to show you a different mod. It is called um, ICBM, which, as some of you may know, stands for Intercontinental Ballistics Missile. Now, the possibilities with this mod are, I'm not going to say endless, because there's not much you can do to create stuff with this mod. It's all about destroying stuff. I'm going to be upfront about that, okay? You're going to destroy a lot of stuff in this mod. And I hope you like that. Now, the biggest problem with this mod is it's all variants and based off of TNT. And as you may or may not have noticed, TNT is hard to get in a legit playthrough because you have to kill creepers and you have to kill a lot of them. And in this one, I'd basically be... Am I flying? I didn't think I had creative mode on. I don't, do I? Turn creative mode off. There we go. Okay. Sorry. Um, as I'm, As you may like realize it would take like 10 hours off camera for me to get like a 10 minute video worth of TNT for or, you know gunpowder wise the sand's not too hard but for purposes of that I'm going to use the trustful NEI here to spawn in lots of, oh look rail guns that's part of the ICBM mod I don't know about those radar guns it's part of a different mod anyway I'm going to spawn lots of gunpowder and just for ease sake, I'm going to summon lots of sand. And then, last but not least, I'm going to do lots of red stone. Right there. Alright. Now, just because I feel a bit guilty about getting all those stuff, I'm going to get a legit crafting bench. The legit way. So, alright, let's see here. Take the spruce wood. I don't know why my cursor is moving so slow today. I think it's my desk. I think it's like made of old. See, this is me having my cursor on my lap and it just makes it a lot easier. All right, let's stick this crafting table down in this makeshift hut here. Now, uh, as you may know, the recipe for gun or TNT is exactly the same as it has always been, which is, I hope a lot of you know, you know, it's pretty basic. Um, let's see here. TNT. Boom. We want lots of it. Like, I'm not kidding. Lots of it. And let's see. Can we make one more out of this? No, we can't. We don't have quite enough. Oh, well. Um, we'll keep that stuff for later. We'll be good. Now, the first thing, uh, TNT is exactly normal. You know how TNT is. Um, the first thing you can do is take two TNT and a redstone, you make three condensed explosives. Condensed explosives are pretty cool. And, you know, let me just grab a redstone torch really quick, or a stack of them. Now I'm going to show you what condensed explosives do. And I'm actually really glad that I got this mountainous landscape for this world generation, because quite frankly, I like blowing stuff up. And mountains are nice stuff to blow up, because they're really ugly and get in the way. And so I'm happy to blow up these mountains. It used to be that I could not play a Minecraft server, like when I first started out, I could not play a Minecraft world unless it had mountains. And now I'm like completely opposite. I always want plains. Plains are amazing. Oh wow, where's the top of this mountain? Okay, here's where it gets fun. Now, condensed explosive, okay? And yeah, did you see that? Not only did it blow up instantly, but it blew up a lot more than your average block of TNT. And to be honest, I'm not sure if it hurt me. Should we test it? Uh, this could go horribly wrong. 
I hope it doesn't. Oh, look, condensed explosives do not, in fact, hurt you. That's nice. I wasn't sure about that. All right, the next thing we're going to do here, we're going to need more condensed explosives. Because a lot of the ones that I know right now are based off of condensed explosives. They're the initial thing. So I'm going to make, I'm going to leave two TNT spare and make some more condensed explosives, lots of them. Now, the first thing I want to show you is called an attra attractive explosive. No, this is a repulsive explosive, I'm sorry. But I will also show you the attractive explosive. Now, let's do the ex attractive explosive first. Attractive explosive is pretty cool in that you can do this and set it to blow up. It takes a little while, and you can kick it around after you do it, which is why I just dropped it down that mountain. And now, now, you notice, I didn't move when it exploded. I didn't touch anything, but it pulled me off the ledge. And that's something the attractive explosive is unique for, in that it, it brings stuff closer to it. Mobs, player characters, um, enemies, pigs, sheep, and cows and stuff. You know, it does all of that. Attractive explosives are pretty cool for that. Let's do another one. I'm not sure if they hurt you by themselves. Let's find out. Uh, wait for it. Boom. Nope, it doesn't hurt you at all. Explosion is moderately sized, about the same as TNT or condensed explosives. Doesn't hurt you at all. Now I'm going to do one more time where I'm going to stand this this far away. Maybe this far away. Not touching anything here. Ready? I moved. Moved like a little ways forward. Not that much, but you know, it's alright. Uh, I don't want to fall off this mountain, then I have to get back up. Dang it. I noticed that I have two stacks of dirt and a cobble, but, and a wool, I wonder what happened to that sheep. All right, whatever. Okay, the next one is really cool. It's called Repulsive Explosives. Now, I'm going to turn on creative mode for this one because I don't want to die, and I know this one can kill me. Because the coolest thing about Repulsive Explosives is this. Ready? Ready? Oh, it knocked me up into a tree. Dang it, tree, why are you in my way? Tell you what, we'll blow this tree up. Oh, that doesn't work. Let's put a dirt block there. Let's blow this tree up. Now, I'm not going to touch anything. And, ready for it? Oh yeah, that's how far that shot me back. Now, like all the other, mod, er, all the other explosives, I am fairly certain that this one cannot kill you. If you notice, I'm going to stand right next to it. I'm not going to move. And, wait for it. Oh, wait, I forgot to turn off any... Uh, I forgot to turn off creative mode on that one. I still have more, though, so don't worry about it. Oh, wow, I wasn't even using up my, my explosives for that. All right, now I'm going to create this little shell here so that I cannot move. But uh, let's blow this up. Oh, wait, no, I'm still in creative mode. There, I got it off. Boom. No damage to me whatsoever. But the thing about that one is the knockback can kill you easily. It can be extremely deadly, you know. Let's blow up two more. This is going to be fun. Oh, I fell down a hole. You guys can't see it. Dang it. I missed it. All right. Oh, wow. There goes the second one. Cool. And I've actually grown red sword and torches because I was stupid with creative mode. Okay, and so that's the first two mods. And now give me a second, and I'll build, bring up another couple mod or another couple explosives to show you guys. All right, all right, and I'm back. Now the next couple ones I want to show you require all new sets of items, and so well, mostly new sets of items. We still have the same basic thing in that we need TNT. We need lots of it. That's obsidian TNT. That's going to be fun later. Now, now that we have lots of TNT. Believe it or not, I'm going to need arrows, lots of arrows, and I'm going to need lots of sulfur. Sulfur is a new type of ore. I don't even know how to spell sulfur. I spelled it right, whatever. Oh, no, I did ER, huh? All right, sulfur is a new type of ore in the, uh, in the volts slash universal electricity mod pack. Um, and it's pretty cool. It spawns near lava, uh, from best I can tell. I haven't seen it anywhere else. Um, yeah. And speaking of which, the last thing we need is a bucket of lava. 
just in case I'm going to grab a couple. Now, where was that crafting table we built? Did I like completely incinerate it? I'm, I probably did. Or maybe it's just up at the top. No, I think I completely incinerated it. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, I picked it up. And that's because I blew it up. Alright. Now, uh, let's see. The first one we want to do is called a shrapnel explosive. And actually, I'm going to need lots of these for various reasons. Now, let's make 10. Alright. Wow, I'm really bad at this. Don't worry about it. It's, it's coming along. Now, this is a shrapnel explosive, and the reason that we needed so many, I will show you in a second. Oh wow, I didn't even get enough. I only got eight, and I need more like 15. Alright. Shrapnel explosives. I still only got two more, whatever, this is fine. Um, shrapnel explosives. First of all, I'm going to swap them in an anvil for later so I don't forget about it. Okay. Shrapnel explosives are pretty cool. As you can tell, they were made by lots of arrows. And so what I'm actually going to do for this one is let me get some dirt out. And now I'm going to light it and run down here and put a dirt shield. Because I'm scared of this one. Oh, did you hear that sound? That sounded amazing. Now if we go up and check exactly what happened up there. Uh, okay. Um, you can't tell at all because they all despawned and so let's do another one in creative mode all right let's do a tnt redstone tw wait tnt no no stop it whatever i don't care now sh shrapnel explosive let's do this one i'm gonna fly up you ready for this it's cool oh look at all those lots of fires everywhere and what those actually were were flaming arrows which means it doesn't destroy any land at all, but it still can be quite dangerous, you know. It doesn't destroy land, but it is extremely fatal to player characters. Uh, I had my mouse up on the desk again, so let me just... Alright, uh, did I blow up the crafting table again? Uh, let's check. Yes, I did, and so for that, I'm going to go back into creative mode. I'm going to click it twice, because I'm smart. Make another crafting table. I don't, I'm too lazy to find it, you know. Now, next one I want to show you is called, uh, I'll find out what it's called in a second. Because I honestly cannot exactly remember. So let's make two, and we need not shrapnel explosives, but TNT in the center. And then a lava bucket down below. You get incendiary explosives, that's it. <laughs> you guys you guys thought I forgot. Okay, um, now incendiary explosives do exactly what you might think. And that's why, and again, I'm going to run and wish I were lower, but I'm not, so I'm going to die! Oh, crap. Let's switch on creative mode before I burn. Yeah, fire and lots of it. Okay, that's the power of the incendiary explosives. Don't get caught in a trap with one of these things, or you are screwed, quite frankly. Oh man, my crafting table's on fire, I want to keep that. We kept the redstone torch on that one, that's nice. Alright, should we blow up another one? Yeah, but let's do it somewhere a little funner. Let's do it in a forest, at the top of a tree. Um, how does this right here sound? Let's plunk, plunk, uh, plunk. What? You can't plant redstone torches on branches? Is that it? I think it is. I'll tell you what, let's destroy this. Place a block of dirt. Now. Okay. And ready for this? I'm ready for this, I know. Yeah, look at all that fire. It's like kind of equivalent to a lightning strike and it kind of sounds like it too. Look at how much it, on the mini map up in the corner, look how much it illuminates the area. It's great, isn't it? Now it kind of dies down after a while, like all fire should. Alright, now, the next thing we need is another ingredient that I forgot. It is called poison gas. Poison powder, no. What was it? It's poison powder, that's right. Now, this is made similar to the shrapnel explosives, from what I understand. Let's make two of them. Uh, you do this all around. 
Yes, and now we have our chemical explosives, yeah. Now, this one, I'll be honest, I haven't tested this one yet, which should be fun. I don't know what this one's going to do. But it's a long fuse. Oh, wow, it did absolutely nothing. Let's try it again in survival mode, yeah? Turn creative mode off, and there's already a redstone torch there, so let's just place that there. Poison mine. Oh, wow. I think it did. Oh my gosh, I'm poisoned. I'm also hungry. I've got I've got the hunger pains from... Uh, oh, wow. What the... The world is spinning. This is just like the beer in, in Tech 8. I've drinking so much of this beer. This is ridiculous. I hope I don't die here. Is it worn off? Okay, I've got six seconds of the toxin left. I'm in peaceful, so it's regenerating pretty fast. All right, now the last thing we want to do is the reason why I made so many of these shrapnel explosives. All right, it's quite a good time. You surround that and place an anvil in the center. Anvils mixed with arrows? What's going to happen next? Oh, you just wait and see. And I'm going to have, I have a lot of these, so let's, let's have fun with this one. And... Let's see, I can't place torches directly on them. Let's do one here, one here. Let's just get these started. Oh, what's that sound? This, oh wow, I was squished by a falling anvil. Look at how smart I was. Luckily I didn't, my spawn point was pretty near here. Let's switch into creative mode and fly back. I knew I should have switched into creative mode before I did that. And let's look at the havoc of all of those anvil mines. Oh, most of those anvil mines. Oh, what? There's only like a couple anvils left. 32 anvils left on the ground. What is this? I was expecting so much more. Let's look at this from up top, though. Oh, uh, wait for it. Oh, that's what it does. It squishes people under falling anvils. If that's not fun, I honestly don't know what is, kids. Alright. Now, this has been my spotlight on the Volts mod pack. Um, I'm a really big supporter of this mod pack. I want to see it go places. I want to see what comes of it next. So, like and subscribe if you want to watch more of these videos. I'll make more. This was just the Tier 1 explosives. Wait until you see Tier 2, Tier 3. Tier 3, Tier 4, and later even missiles. Those are going to be fun. And so subscribe to watch, wait for more content, and I will see you guys all later. Okay? Bye.